Hello everybody, today we're going to be going over Eleanor's fenders. We're going to inspect them today, look for any possible signs of damages, cracks in the fiberglass. Then we're going to repair them and see if we can get as far as we can going to 2K on the exterior. Um, and we'll show you how we do it and we prep the gel coat and go from there. Stay tuned. Okay, we're going to start off with the passenger side front fender. Overall, not bad. We have a problem right there. That's cracked right there. I'm going to have to repair that at the hole there. You can see that's not good. And it's got a spider web out into the gel coat. So that's not good as well. That's going to need to be repaired. Bucket looks okay. The rest of that looks good there. The lip looks pretty good. Okay, so we have one issue right there that's gonna have to be addressed because that took a very bad hit there. And what it did was it spidered out the gel coat. So anything you do over on top of this to bury this will always come back. We're gonna have to dig this down and repair this. Let's go over the passenger rear. Looking pretty good on the seam. Looks good on the seam, so we're okay there. Now we're gonna look over the fender itself. Looks like this one is not gonna be bad at all. What you're looking for is any types of cracks up. She got me right there. There's one right there. That's, an, that's another nasty one. Anytime you have a break like that, it's going to have to be sliced into, back matted, and then gel coated back up. Okay, so we have one there, and we have a little bruising on the bottom, but I can take care of that easily. Uh, we have one break point right there. There's another one, but it didn't saturate down into the flat of the gel. So that's pretty good there. This is our driver's side rear fender now. And what we're looking at, I see a little bruise right there, a couple scratches. Not seeing anything outrageous here. Yes, we do. We got another break right here, but it hasn't spidered into, it just started to. It's just starting to get into there. So that's got to get addressed. Okay, we look good. Forward half looks good. Lip looks okay. All right. We're gonna have a little bit of work to put in these. Okay, this will be driver's side front now. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad, just got some tape from shipping. That's broken. So it seems to be a, a pattern with this one here. All four of these have areas that are broken and they're spidering over into the gel coat. What happens is it starts to break the gel coat and bad things can go from there. So that's gotta be dug out and repaired. The overall profile is excellent, left and right. That's one thing I do like about these fenders is uh, left and right symmetry is just beautiful. So, okay, everything else is all right. So, all right, we're gonna have to start to repair those areas. After we get those areas repaired, then we can do a sand down, a light sand down of this, inspect it, and then start putting 2K and start building off of that. Any other issues we have, we can actually just lightly um, glaze them and block them out. Um, I can also use high build primer. Um, we can use that as well, and that'll put some strength back into this as well. May just do that rather than 2K. 2K does not build a structure. 2K is just a flattener, just to smooth out any of the little whoop decent stuff like that. It's really not a leveler, although we have abused the product to do that. 
Okay, everyone, wanted to show you what was going on with the fenders for Eleanor. Let's see what we can do to get these in some kind of shape to where it's going to hold the structure again and not break anywhere in here. Kind of like that. Now that I've inspected these fenders, next thing is I'm going to make sure I got every crack in this fender marked. The reason why you want to do that is every little time a spider happens with on the gel coat, okay, it'll come back to get you. So you want to dig it out and you want to make sure that the gel coat over the glass doesn't have any air pockets in it either, okay? If it is, you're going to have to backfill it and dig down as far as you can to get all of it gone. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to mark every inch these bad boys, make sure I'm good, go in and dremel them out as much as I can, then we're going to put our gel coat back in. I'll show you how we're going to do that. There's several products in the market, there's several ways to attack it. I'm just going to do it this way um, with our fiberglass gel or I can actually use the Kevlar. I might use the Kevlar, it's pretty damn good stuff. Um, it takes a beating and it can really hold up. It beats the hell out of our sandpaper. So I might use that on the center ones if I find any direct hits. Like if this took a hit, like right there, it would spider out. And then you have to get all the spiders out of that. You have to dig them down so you can fill them because otherwise they'll just come back. They, they'll come back 100%. This is how fiberglass is. It doesn't play nice. And boy, after playing with this stuff for so many years, I got to tell you, um, I'm tired of itchy and stuff like that. It's a pain in the ass to work with. But what's nice about it, no dents. <laughs> it, the cab over there puts me to hell. It took me two weeks and I was very sick the past two weeks doing that bad boy. So that's on the tank. Anyway, all right, let's get started on uh, inspecting. Even though it doesn't show, good, good. This is the driver fender. Okay, that one's our bad boy. All right, that one's good. Now I'm going to check and make sure we don't have no spider hits on this driver fender. I'm wondering if I'm going to even get around to doing any repair work today with the amount of I need to detective work this thing. Now, see where I marked that one. That's the bad one. Now, this fender is going to be all right. I have just one other area of spidering. I'm good. Okay, this was our bad area. I'm looking. See, it's hard to tell a scratch from a break. Sometimes. Okay. That one's a break. All right, that's a break. Okay, now we're going to look and see if it took any wax. I looked at them already, and I want to do a double take on any of this. Just basically scratches. I'm not seeing any spider hits. So that's not bad. All right, I'm okay with this. I'll know, I'll know real quick when I start DAing these bad boys. I'm going to know real quick. It's going to get it all up. Okay, that was the real bad one. Look at all the spidering out of that one. I'm going to see if I can hold the camera up while I do this. There's a lot of spidering in that one. See here? This is crap gel coat. It didn't adhere well and it chipped. we got to repair all that. That's all going to be dug out. No spider dents. I'm not seeing. I just see a little bit of bruises and abrasions. Okay, now we're gonna get back up into here again and start looking. There's one. Right there's one. And this one here's gotta get dug out. That's just a it's not a crack, that's just a scrape. 
Okay. This fender's got some issues. It took a hit here. That was the other one. Now that's ready. So now I can put my coating on this. Okay, the product we're going to be using today is Evercoat FiberTech. It's reinforced with uh, repair compound filler, part number 10633. It mixes with a cream hardener, similar amounts to what you would use plastic fillers with. But what's really nice, it's got a, it's an excellent rigid for plastic repairs, ground effects, spoilers, running boards, body panels. It's, it, you can pretty much use this on anything, and it works really, really well. And it has Kevlar in it. So you ever hear us mention around the shop, we put Kevlar reinforced fiberglass in. This is actually it. It's FiberTech by Evercoat. And that will be what we're going to use on the spider cracks on this today. And after what we'll do is, after we repair the spider cracks on the outside, we're going to go and hit the matting on the inside with gel. Okay, same ratio as you would use any plastic filler. And so what we want to do is we want to mix it very thoroughly. And once you get going, you only have a minute or two, depending on how much humidity you have in the air. To apply this before it starts turning. Once it starts turning, just stop. Since it's Florida and uh, it's humid, it's going to turn into a lump of crap real quick. I leveled it up. It looks a little horrible there, but I want to make sure I get it to strengthen because that area is very weak and the fender actually flexes. So another couple minutes, it'll start to cure. I'm going to let it kick off for a while. I wanted to tack in, uh, I wanted to cure as far as I can before I start sanding it. Now that I've done the first step of repairing this little area and this spider crack out, I'm going to continue on with the other ones, doing the same process, just repetitive.
Okay, after we've sanded everything down, you can see how the gel coat was chipped and everything. We got down to the fiberglass area, but we're gonna fix all that with the Kevlar reinforced fiberglass, just like we've done the others. So we're gonna fix all that. You can see where I've sanded the areas? This little area here, I'm gonna sand that out one last time and get that ready. As it stands right now, we are at a point of completion for the day. It's past five o'clock, and we have the outside, all the spider cracks taken care of on all four fiberglass fenders for Eleanor. Uh, we, we were able to grind down all the spider cracks that were there, a couple hit marks and whatnot. We were able to put the Kevlar glass in, sand it all back real quick, and now we're ready to go after the gel coat and the matting that we're going to put in behind the fenders because we have two areas that are actually broken fiberglass. So we'll get those repaired and the fenders will be just as good as new and we can primer them out. So everyone, thank you for joining us today and checking out Eleanor's Fenders. And we'll see you on the next vlog. Thank you very much. Take care, everybody.